Yeah, yeah, Marquise. When you're out there, is there a point in time where you, you know, you, you obviously you're on and you had 11 points there in the first half. Um, in the second half, it kind of didn't get the scoring going until later. Um, you have a lot of talented shooters on the team. Is there ever a point where you feel like maybe you're not as hot as you were in the beginning and want to pass the ball, or what kind of goes into your mindset there? Um, I try to keep the same mindset every time I come out, but that's a great question. Uh, when things not clicking, you know, you got to try to try to get others involved, like Nigel Pat. We got a lot of great scores, so when things aren't going such in, in a way that I want them to go, I try to like you know get others involved so I can feed off their energy. Michael, next step. Yeah, Marquis has Coach Weber given you a green light to pretty much shoot anytime you feel like you're open. As long he he gives pretty much everybody the green light to shoot a, a good shot and a confident shot. If he feels like you're just shooting a shot that you know you're not comfortable with shooting or you don't have confidence with shooting, then he pretty much doesn't want you to take it. But when I'm out there, I try to play with confidence. Um, try to get myself going. Try to get others involved, and you know, try to play to win. I want to win at the end of the day. And where is the offensive flow right now versus where it can be? when you guys are playing optimally and playing playing at the top of your game? The offense is, is really stagnant right now. Um, we're not executing at a very high level, but um, it's game four of the season, so we're not really, you know, uh, too depressed or mad about how things are going. But, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come. It's going to come around game seven and eight, and we're going to start flowing. We're going to figure things out. It's a long road. Um, we would have won these two games. It would have never determined our season. But, you know, we just got to get back to the drawing board, uh, do, do what we know um, is best for us, and get better. Kellis? Hey, Marquis, 19 points. I think only one turnover tonight. Is that a good example of you learning how to play within this offensive system? For sure. Um, I, my, my biggest thing is taking care of the basketball, showing coach that he can trust me with the ball in my hands. And, you know, trying to make the right play um, while still being aggressive. So I'm trying to, you know, uh, focus more on my assist to turnover ratio and try to, you know, up that. And after these two games, I mean, I know there's a lot you could point to, but is there any one thing you think that you guys can do differently that would help you win these these close ones? Um. For us, it's really rebounding, um, boxing out or on the you know free throw line, taking better shots, uh, executing. It's a lot of things that you could pinpoint and just say um, what's wrong. But I think we're gonna look back at film and understand where we went wrong, and you know Sunday come out with a whole different mindset. All right, hey, thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, Matthew. I'm a little mad at your at your background over there, Matthew. <laughs> uh, Ryan, up next. Uh, just for you specifically, how has this transition? You've played two Power Five programs now, back-to-back -back nights. How's the transition been facing this competition uh, versus what you've had at Little Rock? Um, it's a huge difference in intensity. It's a huge difference in you know preparation. You know the toughness. Um, but it's been great. It's been fun to you know see that jump starting from the bottom where Little Rock is a mid-major where the competition is not, you know, as good as, you know, the Big 12 and the tournaments that we're playing. And so it's just fun for me. I love basketball. I love, you know, high-end games. So it's been a, it's been a fun adjustment, but it's been, it's been a good one. Grant. Hey, Marquise, I know you talked about a, a little bit, but what is the you know overall potential of this team going forward? I feel like our potential is very high. Um, as long as we stay together, stick together, um, correct our flaws and, you know, do what coach asks us, I think we're going to be good in the long run. Um, we're, we're not too, like, you know, we're not dwelling on the two losses because we know that, you know, adversity is going to strike and we'd rather it be – in the beginning of the season, then at the end of the season. So as long as we keep getting better, keep progressing day in and day out, I think our potential could keep rising throughout the season. Thanks, Marquise. Any more questions for Marquise? 
right. Thanks, Marquise. Well, appreciate you. Well, thank you.